Hi everyone. So in this video, I will be talking about those guys who are scoring less than 30 marks in their test series. So if you are someone who is scoring around 40 or 45 or more than 40, then you can drop watching this video. But if you are someone who is scoring less than 30 marks, then this video is only for those guys. Okay. So now the first thing is like, uh, first I will talk about electrical students. Then I will talk about EC students because electrical students are having roughly around 10 days only. So if you are someone from electrical and you are scoring less than 30, then my strong recommendation would be that stop writing down the full length test series now. Okay. You are not doing anything good. You are again and again writing down the test series again and again. You are scoring low and again and again you are feeling less confident and you are not improving at all. So if you are scoring less than 30, just stop now. What you need to do? Let's just say you, are, you have prepared completely. If you have prepared completely like 10, 11 subjects we have prepared completely, then what you will do is that you will pick up your five to six subjects. Five to six, six those subjects where you feel like that I am confident enough. Let's just say I'm confident in network, uh, analog, digital, power system, power electronics, uh, mathematics and aptitude. I'm confident in these subjects. So what I will do is that I will revise only these subjects now. I, I can revise from notes. I can solve some PYQs. There are a lot, a lot of videos are running on YouTube. PYQ solutions. These are running. Formula revision series are running. So just watch those videos and just try to cover those five to six subjects only. In the meantime, you should not be running behind the complete syllabus or you should not be running behind writing on the test series. Just pick up your five to six subjects prepare accordingly, prepare in a good manner and just go to the final examination and just do well. That's it. That's the only thing you can do as of now. Writing down the test series using any preparation strategy or using any method that will not help. Just whatever the time you are having in those time, just prepare only those subjects where you are confident enough. Just prepare those subjects and just go in the examination with a good mindset and in a hope that you would be able to do well. Now, secondly, don't uh, make needless pressure on your brain that what will happen if I am not able to crack this much rank, what will happen if I am not able to get this much of rank. Look, in the examination, in competitive examination, everyone is not going to get success, right? Right? This is relative. There are some guys who is going to get success and some guys will be failing in this particular examination. But if you are failing in gate examination, that doesn't mean you are failing in your life. There is big, big time ahead in front of you. Gate examination is just an entrance exam. Okay. Now there might be family pressure on you that you need to work only. You need to earn. That's why you are studying and you cannot afford taking one more drop. Yeah, that is fine. But uh, gate examination is, is not the end of journey. There are other opportunities as well. After the gate examination, you will realize that even if you are getting roughly around 1500 ranks, still you can do well in your, well in your career. Okay. Uh, sorry for this background. Electricity is going uh, down and up. Yeah, so what I was saying, I was saying that this is not just the end, just prepare well till the day of examination. And after that, again, start preparing again, start preparing. I'm not saying that you start preparing for gate 26. If you have the bandwidth, if you feel like that, I can give another drop, then don't put needless pressure on your brain that what will happen if I don't do well in gate 25, nothing will happen. I have seen students disqualifying in one particular gate examination. And after one year, they get under hundred rank. This is also happens. This is also something that happens. I have seen students getting qualified, disqualified in the previous attempt and in the next attempt they are getting under 100. This is also what happens. Okay, so just, just be confident enough and even if you cannot afford taking another drop then still after the gate examination as well there will be another more opportunities as well. There would be different examination of PSU as well. There would be different uh, like BARC examination would be there. Like there would be examination for different kind of colleges as well. So just don't give up as of now, what you need to do is that for gate examination, you just need to drop right down the full length test series and start preparing your confident enough subject in those subjects where I'm confident enough. And if you are someone who, is, who has just prepared four to five subjects and writing down the full length test series, then you cannot expect getting more than 30 marks, right? If you are someone who has just prepared four to five subjects and with the knowledge of four to five subjects, you are expecting that you will be getting very high marks, then that is something a false expectation you are having. So with four to five subjects, you might not be able to get good marks. But if you have prepared your whole subjects, if you have prepared 10 to 11 subjects, or if you have prepared more than seven subjects, then also you can pick some five to six subjects and prepare them, those subjects well. Now it might happen that from those subjects, you are getting more number of questions and you can do well in your examination as well. As of now, if you are getting 30 marks, then the performance is poor. I do not want to give you false hope, but the performance is poor. But you need to improve it and how you can improve it is that whatever the subject you are confident enough, just prepare those and do well in the examination. That's it. That's the only thing you can do. That's the conclusion of the whole discussion. So that was about electrical students. Now coming to EC student because they are having roughly around 25 days. So 
I would suggest that as of now you drop writing down the full length test series. If you have started writing down the full length test series and you get to know that you are scoring less than 30, then as of now you drop it. As of now you drop writing down the test series and the same method that I suggested to electrical student that what you need to do, you need to pick up your six to seven favorite subjects or you can say six to seven subjects where I am most comfortable. If I am more comfortable in, let's just say in any five to six subjects, I am more comfortable. So I will pick up those subjects and prepare those subjects in a good manner. I, I may end up solving PYQs, I may end up solving some FYQ series, I can see some other videos, I can revise my notes, I can see some crash courses, I can see from any resources, whatever that are available on YouTube, it could be some marathon, it could be some revision, formula revision series, it could be some crash courses, it could be some comprehensive courses, like there might be a few topics, let's just say in digital electronics, I'm not that, that much comfortable with sequential circuits, so I can see some sequential circuit marathon. If I'm not comfortable with FSM, then I can see some FSM marathon. So try do, try watching these topics and prepare accordingly. Just prepare those subjects in a good manner where you are confident enough. If I am confident enough in five to six subjects and I do well in those subjects in the final examination, then there is a very high chance that I will score well. So as of now, you might not be scoring well in your test series. 30 marks you are getting. Don't be demotivated. Just to prepare those subjects where you are comfortable and go with the good mindset in the final examination. Now, where will you again write down the full length test series? So for electrical student, I am not recommending to write down full length test series any day. But if you are someone from EC, then you can write down one more full length test on 10th of Jan. Okay. As of now, for next 20 days, you will be preparing only those subjects where you are confident enough. And after 20 days, you can write down one more full length test on 10th of Jan. And believe me, you will have a very good score in that test. Okay. You will see your performance has been improved in a very good manner. So stop writing down the test series again and again. Stop writing down the test series daily. If you are scoring less than 30, then just drop it. Revise your notes. Revise the subject in a, any manner that you can do. There are enough resources. Just follow those resources and revise the subject. After 20 days, if you have prepared those five to six subjects well, then you would realize that you are performing well in the full length test series that you are going to attempt on 10th of Jan. Sorry, 10th of February, not 10th of Jan, sorry. 10th of February. Okay. So in that manner, you need to prepare. So if you are someone who has prepared more than 10 subjects or there are 10 subjects only. So if you are someone who has prepared 10 to 11 subjects, then this is what you need to do. Pick up five to six subjects or six to seven subjects where you are most confident enough. Just revise those, write down the test series on 10th of Feb. This is for EC student and for electrical students. They may drop right down the test series now just to prepare your subjects accordingly. So yeah, that's it. That's it about the whole video. So this was the motive of writing. Uh, this was the motive of making this video that uh, there would be guys who are feeling demotivated, but uh, there is something, this is the only thing which you can do. There is no strategy there is no method that how to write down the test series how to improve the performance the only way of improving the performance is to study and study in a structured direction okay just don't keep on writing down the test series blindly just don't keep on applying some method or strategies because those are not going to work in the final examination your hard work whatever that you have studied your iq level and your aptitude level is going to help you in the examination not some preparation strategy neither your preparation method and know your preparation strategy is going to help you in the final examination. Yeah. So that's it. That's it about this video. If you are having any other query, you can write down, you can comment down uh, in the comment section. And a lot of guys uh, like ask how they are performing by telling their test series marks. So whenever you tell your test series marks, let's just say I'm saying that I'm getting 55 marks in a particular test series. So always write down the marks of rank 10 guy that uh, rank 10 guy is scoring this much marks, rank uh, 7 guy is scoring this much marks. So I can relate that how you are performing in that particular test series because what happens is that some test series are pretty difficult. So based on that, I can, or some test series are pretty easy. So if someone is saying I'm scoring 55 marks, so I cannot tell that uh, like uh, how you are performing. Either you are performing very well or you are performing not that well. So that will, that I will be able to tell by the marks of rank 10 guy. So always mention the marks of rank 10 guy as well so that I can analyze your performance better. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video helpful. Yeah. Happy learning.